billions of years of evolutionary advancement. And then we have Cassie. Happy day, I'm glad. <laughs> And this is B-Swing. I was very interested in this game because it kind of seems like an art piece. It's kind of like an autobiographical go cool. Okay. I'm really cool and I know a lot about games, so it's kind of like an autobiographical. Autobiographical. It's a word. Look it up. It's an autobiographical game. <laughs> autobiographical. Autobiographical. What is the word, actually? Autobiographical. Autobiographical. Autobiography matter. <laughs> Autobiographical! There Autobiographical, there you go, let's start. Welcome to B-Swing. I was very interested in this game because the art style looks really beautiful. It's an autobiographical adventure. I've been having some trouble saying autobiographical, so that's why I um, am focusing so much on it right now. And the video just won't start. No matter what happens, I just keep saying autobiographical and restarting. Um, this looks great, though. <laughs> Was to move spacebar to inter interact. I thought I said to internet. E for the pause menu and other buttons work too! So do game pads! What? So do game pads. Oh. <laughs> so do game pads! I don't, my brain today is not very good. How do I interact with you? Spacebar. <laughs> okay, so here I am. In my little house, I'm wearing a little toque, I've got serious style. I can't get through the tables here because my parents were never really good at interior decor. They just kind of put stuff together and went, that looks okay. My favorite board game, Kolchika. Everyone loves Kolchika where I'm from. A lot of fun. There's also a dish too. It's also my grandma's name and I want to name myself that, but my mom won't let me. So we're gonna look at our plants. White heather is meant to be lucky, so I, I just want to be a lucky little guy. Nobody cares about black heather, it's all about that white leather. <laughs> <laughs> As I age, I recognize this vessel less and less. <gasps> who said that? Is it like some aging old woman who's like, I'm getting old, I'm getting wrinkles, oh no. Should I start getting Botox? I've been talking shit about Botox my whole life. I don't know what to do. It also could just be that like your body gets weaker. You can't get up the stairs as easily. Stuff gets difficult, but you know what? It's you, baby, and we're all gonna go through it. Who am I? I'm a seven-year-old therapist. Actually, I'm a little kid. I don't know anything about it. I'm just making my way through. Ooh, it's shaded in the areas where, where it doesn't show up. Um, we're gonna walk up to this bread here. Have a little? No, no bread? You're not hungry, little guy? I can't- I can't see very far. Like, should I find my glasses or... I'm gonna go in the bathroom. There we go. Why is it zooming in so much? It's creepy. It's like panning in. <laughs> that will be the toilet then. After I got done with it, I wasn't sure if it was the toilet, but I've decided. Okay. <gasps> Ooh! It's kind of a scary picture on the top left. I wonder if it's the person's actual basement. This way leads to the street. It's cold, dark, probably wet, and I'm tired and without shoes. I think I'd rather go to bed. Oh, really? Well, no, oh, I have no choice. So we're gonna go to bed. It'd really help if I could like see more, see more Skinner. <gasps> Who do you? Who did you? Who are you? Are we going to sleep? <laughs> no. Okay, but come to bed soon. It's late. Okay, fine. I'll come to bed soon. I just really want to explore my house because tomorrow we're getting the hell out of here. We're moving out. We're running away. Ooh, my Strat 1989 Mexican made bashed up secondhand with that thick warm sound. A sound that kicks death. Give it to whoever sits in that insecurity chair, maybe. Oh, in the teeth. It kicks death in the teeth. The religion of the audible. My birthday present for the big 1-8. Oh, so I'm 18. Okay, so I can actually go out and do stuff. Whose bed is this? Whose room is- Oh, this must be my room. Hmm? So, the internet is the watering hole of the modern age. It's where we all go get little sips, try to learn some stuff. Time to shut down, young sir, Jack Horia. What? All right, this guy's got a lot of inside jokes with himself. The four track which I record all my music on. Okay, so we're a musician, that's cool. We got a keyboard, Stratocaster, that means a lot to us. Let's go tuck in this little baby. Yes, we're going to sleep. Here we go. Dreaming about rock music, musicians, Led Zeppelin. You know, I play the guitar, keyboard, very talented. I go to like little cafes and I go, yeah, E chord, <clears throat> C chord. And the girls go, wow, you play music? Best dream ever. Whoa. Okay. Who am I now? Am I the same guy? Am I the, a younger guy? Or did I play the violin at one point? 
This game really doesn't like uh, tell you much. You just kind of gotta explore. So let's go talk to Mama. Why is everything black and white now? Hi, Mom. Hi, darling. So nice to have you visit, even if it's only for a short while. There's a weird thing that happens when you have visitors, though. What weird kind of thing happens when visitors visit, Mom? Visitors kind of make us feel self-conscious at times. A kind of punishment they unintentionally inflict. We start to see ourselves with no clear design, and our flaws apparent. <laughs> uh, I know what you mean. You feel like you have to explain yourself at any given moment. Sorry for the mess. It's not always like this. I really should sort out the cutlery. It's cutlery everywhere. So what's been going on? Well, Ben's home. He should be around somewhere. So is Darius. Andy next door is a bit down at the moment. You know, his mom passed away. I can't think what else. Simple times, simple times. You should say hello to the neighbors, though. They'd love to see you. Say hello to the neighbors? Fine. Oh wait, is that like a thing I have to do? Okay, let's go say hello to the neighbors. All right, so we live in this like little, like what are these things called, like complexes? You can see it all happen in the garden. Life, death, all of it. You can find meaning outside of yourself. You know, there are some prisons in Norway or some place where they rehabilitate prisoners with gardening. That's interesting. Thanks for letting me know. I feel like surfing would have that same impact on you. I always wanted to surf. I'd just be like, man, the power of the wave. Be cool. It all comes from the soil. I love my garden. It always surprises me. So simple, yet endlessly complex. Okay, so everybody in this town is a bit of a philosopher. That's fine. Maybe I'll learn something. Hi! I love how flowers and herbs have their own symbolic meaning. For example, time in Scotland is symbolic of virginity, which means you better be a virgin. <laughs> Let no man steal your time. Okay, so we got some traditional values here. I mean, hey, it's a small town. Let's go see what else this place has to offer us. It's kind of interesting because like in the first part, I was like, it's dark and scary outside. I'm scared of everything. And now in this part, it's like, go outside and see the neighbors. And we're running around and it's beautiful outside and everybody like loves gardening so much on like on a philosophical level. So this must be my little place where I live here. Ooh, the church. Oh, baby, let's go. Hello, everyone. Oh, look at me! Gangsta! Yes, vote? Okay. Best vote and yes, huh? Hey, cigarette man. Is anything gonna happen here? They got a Chuck E. Cheese's in town, though. We are going to Chuck E. Cheese's, for sure. Oh, uh, the farm shop. The farm shop in B-Swing is the place to go if you like delicious things. Okay, so it's not exactly a Chuck E. Cheese's, but it's a farm shop. Let's go. Let's go, then. Come on. I believe in you. I trust you. Maybe I gotta go walk where the cars are. Let me in! Okay, can't go to Chuck E. Cheese's, unfortunately. We're gonna have to go and meet people. But look at this beautiful pond and the dock. I've always wanted to, like, live in a place like this. Let's go here. Hey, girl, you look kind of sad. What's your problem? What is better, a happy present or a happy future? What are you trying to get at? I grew up in, what was it really, a special place for immigrants? In Holland. There I saw new amazing things. Mars bar, vending machines, powdered milk. But one thing that caught my six-year-old imagination like nothing else. Barbie! I knew I needed her, but we had no money, not for such luxuries. We would pay with some toys donated to the place, we would collect things in matchboxes, play in our imaginations, and I would draw and draw and draw. That's what I did before I got the toys I wanted. You just draw them and pretend you have them. However, one day a policeman bought me and my sister and my brother a chocolate bar from the machine so we could see it work. I realized he'd left his change in the coin catcher and that other Dutch people might be similarly dismissive of their change. So you just took a bunch of change there and got yourself a Barbie, huh? And so it began. I would collect their change in a little matchbox. How much could have been there? It couldn't have been much. I'd hide it behind the cola machine. After months, it had grown fat. It had grown into fat stacks. But one time, I went to look for my matchbox of coins, and it was not there! I looked and looked high and low, but with no luck! Our friend, another refugee girl, had found out what I was doing. She had taken my matchbox. No! The most painful thing about it was that I thought of her as a friend. Now I know that the imagination to dream is more important than any doll. How can we be happy in a future moment when we aren't happy in the present moment? It is, after all, just another moment. Sorry about your Barbie. It's too bad. Just walk right away from her after she talks. That's a good story, though. That's a positive way to think about it. I'm off on my boat. Hopefully, this is a lake and not an ocean. And <laughs> I'm not just gonna be doing this for the next eight hours. I have a sneaking suspicion that this- that the dock is the only way out of this lake and this is just a place 
to contemplate and be philosophical. Hi. What? Can we s Um... Are you supposed to be here? I can't interact with it. <clears throat> Anyways, I have, have a feeling that this nothing special going on in this lake. It's just a place to be philosophical and think about the Barbie. Oh, and they got these hot dog things. I love these hot dog things. One time I tried to like go because I thought that they were like corn dogs. You could just take the hot dog off the stick, but they're stuck there. So I had to take a knife and like saw it off. And then when I took it home, I was like, okay, I have the hot dog. Now what do I do? It's like the beauty of being a child. Oh, Terry just told me they're called cattails. I call them hot dogs. Bye, I'm so sorry this happened to you. You're still so sad, but be happy. You told me to be happy, okay? We're gonna go to the sheep herd. Question, why aren't sheep green? Answer, maybe some more and you just don't see them. Ha! <laughs> maybe. Hi guys. How's it going? You look like you're made of plasticine, is that true? Are those their heads or is this poop coming out? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna leave the sheep farm. Let me know if you see any horse heads floating around, because I'd like to know if there's a pattern going on here. This is just such a small farm town, it's very endearing. The take care home, ooh, let's go. Hello. How is it? How is it here? Mm, okay, thanks. I thought those were boobs. Bye, grands. Hope you cheer up. Oh, now that is a beautiful sight. This is where they keep the real old ones, not the ones who sit in their chairs at home and go, I feel like a stranger in my own body. Regret has not yet taken the place of this girl's dreams. The tragedy isn't that I'm old, it's that I was young once. What do you mean? Oh, now you're not. Now you're giving me the cold shoulder. The old shoulder, huh? <laughs> uh. Okay, we're going inside. Whew, okay. I don't particularly like these places. Hi. Hey, how's it going? You sleep? Huh? You okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, he's asleep. I just can't find my way out of here. I'm fine. I don't need to be here. But when the night comes, I can't remember anything. The nurses give me hand massages and stroke my brow, and I feel better. I used to ride horses, you know. Now, if only I could find my way out. And so this guy really wants to get out of here, but he's not fit to take care of himself, it looks like. But in case you remember tonight, it's that way, okay? It seems like a lot of these old people uh, don't like to accept the fact that they're old, and it's like kind of sad, you know? You, you hope that old people are like, I'm old, fuck you! Hopefully they're like that, that's all I'm saying. Someone has been stealing my money. I know who, it'll be my brother, or that Mr. McFarlane. He's always cheating on me with that Joyce. You can't trust anyone anymore. At least the old birds still sing at dawn. So true. Love the, oh, at least the birds still sing at dawn. I thought she said old birds. Just made it up, I guess. But you gotta like some people too. Look at me, I'm here visiting you. Although it does look like it kind of sucks, you know. It doesn't even look like they have free coffee. What do you do in a place without free coffee? Where's the donuts? Don't get offended. Just listen to what's troubling them and understand their reality. Try to be reassuring and let them know you care. Okay, so I'm not supposed to get offended by these old people. I mean, they're from an old generation, right? Like, they might have some kind of offensive views and it's my job here in the nursing home to not get offended and just listen, try to understand, and be like, maybe you should brighten up. Actually, don't brighten up. You're fine. Some creamed corn over there. I love a good dance. Oh, really? This is a good bit. Ooh! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Okay. My body may be old, but my soul is young. Okay, but you know, it's cool being old too. Like, you know a lot of stuff. You've been around for a long time. You got stories. Tell me a story. This is a good bit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna see what the DJ's spinning over here. I'm gonna request thong song. Any requests? I love playing these old tunes. They don't write them like this nowadays. Where's your Cole Porter, your Andrew sisters? I, I mean, there's lots of good music. Maybe you're just not looking for it. I requested thong song. Should be starting any minute. I love this song. Hey, you're all right. That's not coming out of nowhere, by the way. Every single time Terry and I go somewhere with a DJ, he requests thong song. They play it, and it's guys like what, 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 they do your butt, butt, butt. I'm gonna sing it again, she got- What is it? Humps like a truck, truck, truck. Hey ladies, how's it going? Poor Mr. McFarlane. Someone is gonna have to tell him that Joyce isn't coming down for the dance. So Mr. McFarlane's wife isn't coming to the dance 
and we're supposed to feel bad for him, but he's also been stealing money from that old bat over there. For Criven's sake. I'm really upset about Joyce. Oh shit, Joyce died? Not because I was particularly attached to her, she was fine, but it's because it means I'm going to have less working hours. You get used to the clients passing too early. Okay, all right, well that was a... Uh... That was an experience, um... It's really sad. That is as much exploring as we're gonna do today. I learned that horse heads are not a myth. They actually exist. They're out there, they're swimming, and they seem to be quite peaceful. Like it didn't threaten me or anything like that. Let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it one of these and make sure you subscribe to give that blue subscribe button a bit of a pick me up. I'll see you guys on the next one.